Hi and welcome to this course on the React Native. This is a complete React Native course where you will learn it from the complete beginner level and at the end you will be building the big applications with it. So without wasting time, let's start. So about the React Native, so it is a UI library which is built upon the React library which allows us to build the real native apps such as the Android and iOS applications. So about the React Native, so it is built upon the React JS which is a web based library and with the React plus react native you will be able to build the ios and the android applications which you can use and you can publish anywhere through any app store so that is the purpose of the react native so as we know about the react js so the react js is just a javascript library for building the user interfaces and it is typically used for the web development and that's another instance that you can use and publish anywhere so it is used mainly for the web development but if you have worked with the react js then you must know that there is another library which is the react DOM which adds support to the web. So it is a React DOM which is a platform dependent like example for the web. So it adds supports for the web. So you can use React with the React DOM to build the web applications but in general the React doesn't care about it. So React is just a library or you can say a standard like the ES6 like the ECMA 6 which provides you some tools regarding the development like managing the state and for building the components and then you need an extra library like the React DOM to add support for any platform. So the React is just a tool and like a React DOM it adds support to any platform like the React DOM adds support to the web platform for compiling to the web. So that is the process. And about the react native so it is an alternative to the react dom which uses the react as an ecosystem so it gives you the choice for adding the react components in your code and it is delivered to you with pre-built-in components that you can use and those components are then compiled and bundled to the native ui elements according to the platforms so like the android and ios and then it will take care of the compilation process as well so those components are then exposed and it will take care of the compilation to the native api platforms and it provides you some access to the platform apis such as the camera location which is exposed to the javascript and even if it is just a touch call, it is also exposed to any Android and iOS devices. So that's the big advantage of the React Native. So therefore, in the end, the React Native is similar to the React DOM. And it just does not support the target of the web. It just target the Android and iOS mobile platform. So that is the difference only. So it gives you some APIs so you can interact with the UI elements into Android or iOS to build your application. So that is what the React Native is all about. And therefore, for learning the React Native, so you must have knowledge about the React. A minimal knowledge would also be acceptable because you will write the React code in the end and you will just use some extra APIs for the mobile like the cameras and so many components of the mobile. So that's all for the React Native. So now let's see that why should we use the React Native. So why use the React Native? So because the development is very fast and easier as compared to other libraries and then it uses the React as an ecosystem. So we have the standard of the React and then we have the huge community support as well. So if you are getting any error, if you are facing some issues like production or in the development, so there is huge community that you can get support from there. And then the big companies are also using the React JS like the Netflix, the Meta and Instagram and so many companies are using it because the UI is very fast and easy to develop with the React Native. So now let's have a look at the code of the React Native. So we have a react js plus react native code. So now after seeing this code snippet, you must think of the react code and that's right. And that's what we use the react for building the web applications. So this is just a regular react component that what you see here. And we could also use here the class component or directly the function keyword component here as well, but that would be okay. So in the react native, the code like this will be then compiled to the real native apps like this. It is compiled and visible to both iOS and the Android phones. So the code is compiled to the real native platforms and the apps. So this is the power of the react native. So the same code works for the Android and iOS both. So here you have different elements as compared to the web, the view and the text. So the react native does not support the web elements like the heading tags or any paragraph tags, article tags. It doesn't support any web tags. So here in the react native, we have to use the native components. Like for using the text, we use the text components and for the container, we use the view and so on. And you will learn about all of those components here in this course. So they are being compiled 
to the native platforms and as a side note it is just the views that are compiled to the react native example the jsx and the components and not the actual javascript logic so only the views and the jsx components are compiled to the native api platforms and not the actual javascript logic like the if statements or any helper functions and so on but what about the javascript logic then so if we see about the components and the logic so we have the ui elements inside this application and then we have the logic as well so the ui elements are compiled to the native code so the react just exposed the components that are compiled to the native platform but inside the logic so what about the logic so the logic works on the javascript thread which is hosted by the react native so that's how it works so the ui elements are compiled to the native api code like for the android or ios and the logic works on the javascript thread which is hosted by the react native so that's all about the react native that what is a react native why do we need it and the components and the logic and the compilation process and so many things so we have discussed all about the react native in this lecture so let's wrap up this lecture